Back in the 60s, the Beach Boys tried to tell us that if everybody had an ocean, we'd all be surfing. Six decades later, it turns out that what we really needed was just a really cool boat. Hi, I'm Jeff Hamill from Boating Magazine, and today I'm aboard Regal's LS9 Surf. Now this is one of the latest and largest examples of a boat that can bring a truly surfable wave to almost any body of water. Join me as I show you how this boat produces that wave, how the riders reacted to it, and what makes this boat, when it's not surfing, a truly exceptional family-friendly bow rider. Now in the early days of wake surfing, most of the boats were V-drives or inboards, and there's a reason for that. Wake surfing takes place really close to the swim platform. Volvo Penta changed all that when they invented the forward drive. Now that's basically your conventional stern drive, but the prop is on the front of the drive rather than the rear. And what that does is it puts the prop well up under the hull and it lets that surf zone be safe for riders. Now one thing that a drive like forward drive can do that a V-drive can't is trim. Now in regular running, that lets you get the bow up into a better ride, accommodate for rougher conditions. But when it comes to wake surfing, you can also use that drive to trim up and simulate 1,100 pounds of ballast. Now ballast is what every wake surfer wants. It weighs the boat down, it builds the size of the wake. Regal adds 2,500 pounds of onboard ballast that you can easily pump into tanks. And then they add the key ingredient, which are surf tabs. Now, those are trim tab-like tabs at the back. They're oversized. When you move them, you can actually disrupt the way water flows along the hull. That builds the wake, it cleans up the shape of the wake, and it extends the pocket. In the early days, controlling all those variables could be a little bit of a hassle, but today, everything is easily done through the Volvo Water Sports Control on this Regal. Now, what that is, is it's a touch screen. I can literally make a few taps. I can select my ballast load. I can select whether I'm surfing left or right. I can adjust the speed. It really just makes everything very simple and intuitive. But enough of me talking about the ride. Earlier today, we had a former world champion take a set behind this boat. Let's hear what she had to say. Now I'm here with Taylor Dory. Now, Taylor, you are the 2016 world champion, so you know good wake surf boats. A lot of them, I imagine, have been V-drives. What do you think about the wake that this forward drive Regal produces? Honestly, I think it's pretty comparable to those regular V-drive boats. Wake is massive, you can get some really good pop off the lip, and then if you want, you can really drop back in there into that pocket and you don't fall out the back. It's got some great push. And how about, it's kind of unique in that a forward drive can trim, which a V-drive can't, and I know that can actually affect the wake size. Um, yeah, with this one, I ride at 11 miles an hour, trim at one, and you can make it as steep or as mellow as you really want, so any rider can get out there. Can it satisfy, when you say any rider, do you think it will satisfy a pro-level rider as well as a beginner and not be intimidating? Oh, for sure. I think they're right up there with the pros. Um, and again, my dad would love to ride it. And a couple of my cousins, little babies, like yeah. kids would love it as well. Which is the great thing about wake surfing. Yeah. You Every, can, everybody can. <laughs> yeah, everyone can ride it. You can change it to how you want. All right, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's talk about some of the features that make this boat handy for surfing, but also really comfortable for just recreational use. One of which is this low to the water swim platform. Now that's ideal because I can literally just pull myself up on it. I don't have to use the ladder if I don't want to. It's also easy to gear up here and slip into the water. Standard on this boat is the power platform. Now that's an electronically actuated platform that also can serve as a step or it's a great place to hang out if you want to sit in the water on a hot day. Stepping forward, We've got the Ultra Lounge. Now that's these two lounges. They have a movable backrest that can go fore or aft. In the back position, I'm facing forward when I'm running and I'm part of a social scene in the cockpit. In their forward position, I can recline on those lounges and that's great when I'm sitting coving or hanging out at the beach. It's also another good spot to gear up for riding. Enjoy music while you're riding or hanging out at the sandbar or coving? JL Audio Wake Subs are integrated into the port and starboard side of the boat. They direct the sound back to this section of the boat. That lets me hear it when I'm in the wake. It also lets me hear it when I'm swimming in the water. This center walkthrough is also convenient to get in and out of the cockpit and onto the swim platform with ease. But it also has another benefit as it balances the load to port and starboard. Stepping forward into the main cockpit, 
I really like the social layout that this boat can do. I can flip both the helm and the passenger seats forward, face aft to join the crew. Now, a few details I really like are in the storage compartments. This raised lip prevents water intrusion. There's a pneumatic strut that actually holds the seat cushion open so I don't have to struggle with it when I'm loading gear. And a really nice feature, the storage to port is oversized and extends forward into that passenger seat. That lets me take full-size wake surf boards and stow them in this compartment with ease. Another little detail to check out is the comfort curve. Now that's this cutout in the seat cushion. What that lets me do is normally you'd be sitting here and you'd be kind of cramped with the rider in this position. You'd be tangling topside or so to speak. Now, being able to sit in the corner like this, thanks to the comfort curve, I've also got additional room for extra passengers, especially if we add the center filler cushion. Naturally, no boat would be complete without plenty of cup holders. I've got them in the in-wheel right here, along with grab handles. There's also a nod to the fact that everybody has a phone nowadays. I've got dual USB chargers built right in. Now this LS9 Surf has two in-floor lockers. The rear locker right here is insulated. Now that lets me load it up with ice and drinks, keeps everything handy for the crew that's right back here. The forward locker is where one of the ballast bags is, but one of the neat things is when that ballast bag is not in use, I can still use the full capacity of that locker. On a 29-foot boat, odds are you're gonna have a good amount of passengers, and inevitably one of those is gonna have to use the facilities. A head compartment is a rarity on a wake surf boat, but this Regal has one in the port compartment. It's generously sized. I can add an opening port to get a little ventilation. It's also lockable. Now that makes it a good spot to stow some gear if you stop at a marina or for lunch. Moving to the helm, one of the first things you'll notice is the Volvo glass cockpit. Now that's two 12 inch touch screens. Regal also uses digital switching, meaning I can control things like the hard top, the lighting, everything just from a tap right here on this screen. The glass cockpit is also where you'll find the water sports controls we mentioned earlier. From here, I can control almost every aspect of the wave. I can change the tabs. I can load the ballast down to create a bigger wave. Adjusting the trim is also gonna lengthen or shorten that wake. I can choose my speed. I can also save presets for individual riders. So that way, when it's that rider's turn to surf again, I can literally just push a button and call it back up. Again, it's all right here, right at the touch of a finger. Other notable standards at the helm include a standard bow thruster, the fact that I can use those same wake tabs as trim tabs, wireless charger with a tray to set your phone, and one thing I always love on a boat is an elbow rest for my throttle hand. It just makes it a lot more comfortable when you're driving for an extended period of time. The helm seat is also double wide for comfort and features an electric adjustment to move fore and aft, and you'll also enjoy a flip up bolster when you're coming into the dock to get greater visibility forward. And when you're talking about the glass cockpit, an interesting option is a passenger side display. I can take everything on these two displays and throw it over to the port side as well. Now, why would you want to use that? You can control everything like I do here, but there's also opportunities for, say, the passenger to look up a place to eat or to control the music. And we can't leave the main cockpit without talking about the standard power hardtop. It lowers to let me get under a bridge or to protect me from rain, and I can control it with just a tap on the touchscreen. Moving up to the bow, Regal squares off the cockpit. Now that gives me extra space up front. There's plenty of storage beneath these seats. I've got fold down armrests. And again, one feature I really like, like we saw aft, underneath this starboard seat, I've got full side storage that extends under the helm. That lets me add even more wake surfboards to this boat. Buyers will also appreciate traits like this traction material at various spots people might board from the dock these sturdy grab rails, and you can't leave this boat without mentioning the gorgeous upholstery. I love the stitching, I love the comfort of this multi-density foam. It's also all built in-house at Regal. And if you're looking for a few options to consider, I'll suggest the anchor windlass and the side mount teak table. As you can see, there's a lot to love about the Regal LS9 Surf. This boat is great for the family with plenty of room, and as we've seen, it's great for surf. Want to catch this wave? Check out more about this boat in Boating's annual buyer's guide as well as in an issue of Boating Magazine.